What is up my dudes, Kevin here, we are back with a brand new Red Dead Online video and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys one of the best, if not the best, online money making method. So if you guys enjoy this at any moment or if it is helpful, drop a like on the video, comment down below any suggestions you guys have throughout this video to improve it even more. And besides that, subscribe to the channel and let's get right on into this. So as many of you guys know, the most lucrative or the most valuable things to hunt in Red Dead Online are birds, in specific, egrets, herons, and spoonbill birds, which you can find in the St. Denis area. Now, many of you guys already know that, but there's more. Like I said in today's video, I'm going to give you guys some extra information and maybe some tips that could help increase your efficiency while getting these birds and just overall make your whole method even better. All right, so let's start with the herons, and as you guys can see on the map here that I created, I broke it down into sections where they spawn, and I pretty much got the information from the game guide here. Now, some of you guys may not have that. That's why I went ahead and made this. Because a lot of the maps you find online are not too precise, but I went ahead and made sure I got the exact locations from the book itself, the, Red, the official Red Dead Redemption 2 guide, which, as you guys know, in story mode, the spawn locations of the animals in online are pretty much exactly the same, so you can expect to get the same result. So as you can see with the herons here, we have a wide variety of them to the right of St. Denis, so you can expect to get most of your stuff there. But basically, I made this to give you guys a general idea of where you can find each type of these birds. And if you combine all three maps, I'm going to show you a map for each of the types of birds. You guys can find out which is the best spot to go and get all three types of birds in one location, which will obviously make the whole method quicker for you guys. But as you can see here, it's broken down into perfect heron carcasses and so on. The heron feathers go for $1.50 and the... um. A perfect carcass goes for $3.25, which is very good. And, of course, you get the bird meat, which is $0.25. Cents. Then the herons are actually not even the best kind of bird, so let's move on to the next one. So here we go. We have the spoonbill carcasses, which are the second best birds, in my opinion. Well, actually, you could argue that they're the best ones, but egrets, some egrets actually go for more. But there's many different kinds of egrets, so the price tends to vary often. But as you guys can see here on the map as well, the darker color red areas are where the most uh, spoonbills are at. And the lighter ones is where, you know, there's a less amount. But as you can see with the carcasses here, the carcass for the spoonbills is $4 for a perfect one, which is an increase in price. Spoonbill feathers are $1.95, very good, an increase in price as well. And again, the same prices for the bird meat. So spoonbills actually go for more than the herons. Now also guys, feel free to screenshot these maps if you want to keep them for yourself. Uh, do what you want to do. Uh, but let's move on to the next map that I got. And the next one is going to be, like I said, the egrets. And as you guys can see here, egret carcass goes for $3.50. Not bad. And then we have the plumes, guys. Now, this is where the most expensive plumes come in. Little egret plume, $2. Uh, snowy egret plume, $2.50. And the reddish egret plumes for $1.75. $2.50 for the snowy ones. That's a lot of money right there, guys. But like I said, the price tends to vary a lot because there's many different types of egrets. But still, egrets are very, very valuable. But as you can see with these maps, guys, if we look at all three of them, we could find where the best locations to do this farming method is at. So with those maps being shown, guys, I think we can come to the consensus that the best spot to go to to farm all three of these birds at the same time, because as you know, we could hold plumes or AKA feathers, I just like to say easy. We could hold 10 feathers of each type of bird instead of just, you know, one, let's say you just do herons, that's just 10 feathers. But if we do all three, that's 30. And that's gonna be a pretty much triple the amount of money that we'd usually get. So. From what we saw on those maps, guys, I would say the best areas are going to be right down this little edge right here, guys, along here somewhere. This is where we found a lot of them in the same area and this general area around here as well. Now, also, I know for a fact that a lot spawn over here. So I think we're going to start with this spot over here, guys, and I'll show you guys some extra tips on getting these birds to spawn in or spawn back in and uh, extra tips on the killing them. So let's get right on into it. Now, also, when we're in this area, you'll notice that there's a lot of alligators around. So you want to make sure you're killing all these alligators, skinning them, and taking their meat because you can hold 10 of their meat. Now, add some extra cash on top of everything because there's an abundance of alligators in the area. You already know that, so you want to make sure you grab those. You also see a bunch of random birds flying around. Shoot those down like ravens, ducks, stuff like that. You can grab duck feathers. They're obviously not as much as the three birds that I described right now, but still extra money. So I'm going to go ahead and wait till it's morning just so you guys can see what's actually going on because the birds are hard enough to see as it is during the day. So I'll see you guys in a second. All right, morning time is here, and here is what we're going to do for this method, guys. I want you to start right at this location, and we're going to work our way around all the way up here. And by time, pretty much you just go until you have the full amount. And by the time you reach around here, guys, you should have the full amount of every type of bird that you need. 
So this route makes it super, super easy. And you also want to, like I said, kill the alligators on the way. Make sure you guys take the meat and teeth that come from those. And this should be the best way to do it, to get all three at the same time. A lot of people, they tend to go over here and then they'll switch spots. They'll just, they'll jump from spot to spot, which, you know, is not bad. But this way, I think it can make it a lot more efficient. For me personally, it has. So let's get this started. I'm going to show you guys what we got going here. You're basically going to find birds all along the ledge here. What the heck was that? Well, here we go. We got our first bird already. The tri-colored heron. So we're going to pretty much take the plumes for this one. We're not going to keep the carcass for this because we're only going to keep the three-star carcasses on our horse. But uh, let's go ahead and take our shot. Boom. Now keep in mind, guys, you might see birds flying around after you shoot one of these birds. So just be very aware and be ready to fire multiple shots at multiple birds after you kill the first one. But for this one, there was only one bird at the spot. So we're just going to pluck them as we go, leave the carcasses, and be on our way. Now, a little tip, guys, that I'm going to throw in here for you to spawn these birds back in at certain locations. I wouldn't do it at this spot since there's only one there. But when you find locations where there's multiple birds, after you kill them, all you do is put down some predator bait. It's very important that it's predator bait, not herbivore bait, even though the birds are herbivores, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. It's kind of weird. But um, you put the predator bait at the exact location that you killed them, and then you'll, you'll pretty much ride away a little bit, kill some other stuff, and then come back, and the birds will be spawned back in. It works pretty much every time for me. Maybe it's just luck. I haven't tested it too many times. I would say about five or so times, and, but it's worked every single time. So give it a try, and let me know how that works out for you guys. But since we got our first one, as you guys can see, we can get three feathers from each bird. So you kill about three or four of them, you guys can be maxed out and no problem. So here we got a bunch right here. Just do your best to get as many of them as you can. Which I think we got a whole bunch. Let me show you guys exactly where this is on the map because this seems to be... This is where I get the majority. So the beginning of the method starts pretty slow. Along here, guys, it's going to be pretty slow. You're not going to see too many, but as you can see on the map, you get some here. You get some here. You get some here. But uh, always in this spot, there's a huge amount of them. I don't know what it is, but this location is very, very good. Now, I think I got the majority of them. So let's see. I think these are egrets. Which is they are. We got the reddish egret. Let's go ahead and skin this. Take these. I think we got the snowy one right over there, which is very good. We got a whole bunch of other ones back here. I'm going to go ahead and throw this reddish one on our horse until we get a better three star. All right, we got a spoon bill over here. Here we go. We got some variety. Now, like I said, guys, you only have to kill about three or four of these, and you already have the max amount of plumes. So we don't have to kill a whole bunch of birds. That's the good part about this. It's pretty quick method, pretty easy. It just takes a little more concentration than, let's say, you know, the normal fish ones I like to upload with the ponds where you just run through it. This one takes a little more precision to do, but again, it's it's not that difficult. Type of bird from this spot. We got the heron right here. Spoon bill, egrets. Let's see what the final bird over there. It looks like another heron, I believe. Or not a heron, a um, spoonbill over here. So let's see what we got so far, guys. We literally just started and already nine spoonbill plumes. Very good. Heron plumes, we got six of those. We got uh, reddish egret plumes, two of those. Snowy egret plumes. We have the normal flight feathers, duck feathers. We got all the alligator stuff. I already got all that. So we're looking pretty good, guys. We only got a little more to go. All right, so we made it on to the end here. Let me show you guys where we are. We're right about here. So we worked our way all the way around through here. Uh, I didn't have too much luck in this area. Sometimes you have a lot of luck and sometimes you don't. It's pretty much just, that's just how it goes. Sometimes the birds aren't there. But we're ending up right here and this should top it all off for us. Looks like we got some herons here. I believe I'll max that on herons. So I'm going to go for the spoonbills in the back over there. I don't really need these herons right now. All right, and this should finish off the plumes for this one. This was a three star, so I guess I'll replace... Let's replace the heron I have on the horse. I believe this one goes for more. Oh, also, guys, feel free to throw an alligator skin on the back of your horse. I completely forgot to, but of course, that'll be some extra little money for you guys. But let's sell and see what we got here. Here's what we got from that short, easy run. Obviously, if you guys do a little more effort into it, you can get more. You can get maxed out ducks. You can get more egret feathers. It all just adds up at the end. So let's see. So here we go, guys. We got the duck feathers. This is, you know, nothing, nothing special. We got the game meat. This comes from just random animals. We got the game bird meat, 25 cents each, 250 for a whole stack. Now we got the heron plumes, $1.50 each, 15 bucks for a full stack of these. Good money right there. The alligator meat, 750 for that whole stack. That's some good money. The alligator teeth, $4 in total for that. We got the flight feathers, just the normal feathers. We got the animal fat. This just comes from ducks and whatnot, from the ducks that we killed. And we got the spoon bill plumes, $1.95, 1950 in total for that. The carcasses 350 
another carcass at four dollars so you can see that's a big stack of cash and we didn't even do the full amount if you guys want of course you can do the full amount and actually we should be getting even more money but i believe the egrets are uh bugged right now because you can sell them but you can't sell them right now uh yeah kind of weird but anyways hope you guys enjoyed the technique drop a like then if you did comment down below any improvements to add to this method sure or just you know back. tips for people in general and of course subscribe and i'll see y'all next time for a brand new video peace